There better not be steroids in here. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you think about those uh, fuck you soda chants yesterday from the crowd? That's funny, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, I mean, we know this isn't your favorite part of the game. How, how do you get yourself ready for it? Like, what's your mindset walking into this room, knowing you're going to have to do this, that, that you'd probably prefer not to? I, it's just, uh, it's what you guys want me to say, the same shit I've been saying all week already. It's kind of, kind of, uh, I don't like to uh, see myself repetitively saying the same shit. But at the same time, look at how many cameras are here, man. I mean, literally everybody in this room wants to talk to you. Do you find that... Like exciting at all or odd? I mean, literally everybody here wants to hear what you have to say. Yeah, it's cool. It's all good. In, in hindsight, are you glad you took a, like those years off? Because if you had to do this every few months, would that not eventually burn you out? Yeah, this is soul sucking. It takes your whole life out of you. Yesterday I was exhausted, but uh, that's the name of the game, right? It's cool. Not that we want you to, but are you going to get to a position where you can tell the UFC I should do less of this stuff? Um. No. So, are there any questions regarding this fight? Do you feel like people haven't asked you about it? Are there any areas that you sort of still want to talk about that you haven't spoken to them about already? No. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just hear that you won't get fined? No, I didn't even know I'd get fined. <laughs> That's crazy. No, it's all good. This is part of the game, right? It's just. Um, I'm ready, ready to uh, be done with all this, weighing and get, get to the point. Yeah. Have you seen the belt yet? The UFC giving you a sneak. What, what are you expecting from from the belt? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> what do you I expect the belt. Any input in the design? No, I don't care. I don't care. It should be. Uh, I hope it looks cool. <laughs> you care about the rock being there at all and wrapping it around your legs? The rock's coming to put the put the uh, on the winner, huh? That's pretty cool. That's a, that's a big deal, right? <laughs> that's cool. Are you a fan of the rock? Uh, I'm a fan of the rock, the, uh, uh, for sure. Does part of you feel like just Dana doesn't want to put a belt on you? It would be cool as fuck if Mike Tyson was here, because wasn't that the baddest motherfucker in the game? The baddest motherfucker on the planet or something like that? That'd be cool too. Before you came along, who was the baddest motherfucker in the UFC? <laughs> Nick Diaz, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get the answer to that. So, Nick, this is on you. Like, this is you that will listen to existence. But Dana has said that this is like a one off thing. And, you know, how do you feel about it? I mean, I'm sure you want to keep on having the BMF title, right? Yeah, this is forever. <laughs> Do you feel like it's kind of funny that they trademarked the BMF thing after you made it up and it's all on you that they are now making money off what you invented? <laughs> it's funny. You get any love from the vegan? <laughs> yeah, the vegans get mad though because I'm not, I'm not a full vegan. So, uh, but but it's cool. I did, I'm all about uh, supporting the vegan community though because everywhere we go, they have vegan options. That's my best bet. You know, if uh, if someone asks like preference on a plan, I say vegan because you can get vegetarian stuff and have cheese and, and stuff all over it. Uh, but I eat eggs and I eat like uh, fish sometimes. So, but I love I love the I love the vegan restaurants and the vegan food and the vegan community for sure. I'm all about it. And um, like I said, Terminator, Arnold Schwarzenegger is pretty much vegan too. And and homie, what? Remember that one day? Yeah. Like, How much did that question piss you off? Ah, uh, he like at him with his ass at the thing. <laughs> <laughs> that guy was sorry. Nate, are you the baddest motherfucker in the triathlon? In the triathlon community? No, no, no. I'm like, uh, man, I'm hardly hanging in there in the triathlon uh, community lately. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta step my game up next year for sure. But in the race world, it's a, it's another world. Those guys are, are no joke. But when I get in in the in the, uh, the season and I start working good, I start getting up there, start placing placing pretty good in, in a lot of the races. So. But that's a, that's another world that these guys can't keep up with for sure. Are you surprised more fighters don't do triathlon training? They're all starting now. Yes. This guy that I'm fighting is riding a bike now and swimming, and, and Connor started riding a bike. Everybody's doing what what they were told to do. You know what I'm saying? Father. Did you see Conor McGregor says that he wants to fight the winner of this fight? Does that interest you at all? I don't know what's next, man. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do, and uh, we'll see what's gonna happen in the future. You know. Uh, like, like they said, like I heard before, when stars line up, whenever, 
I don't know what's next. I'm gonna try to make this fight 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 happen the way it's supposed to happen, and then uh, we'll go from there. You know, when would be next? I mean, like this was a quick turnaround for you. I mean, do you think you'd want to fight quick again, or do you want to take some time? That's off? just what I said last time. I'm, I'll take the, I'll take for, forever off, or I'll get back to it if everybody comes correct. You know, the only reason we've had problems in the past is because. The only reason why why there was any problem in the past is because you know they're, they're you better you better treat me like it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been in this game forever doing my thing, and regardless of of, of the outcome, I'm coming back. My next fight is stronger and better anyway. So could you not fight again? Like financially, could you be like done and, and, and live? I don't ever have to fight again. I didn't have to fight a long time ago. But what am I gonna do? I you know I got all kind of stuff going on, but but um. So do you still love the fighting part? I mean, I know you hate this part, but do you love, I mean, I know the fighting, you've always had kind of a love-hate relationship with it, but do you still enjoy getting in there in the competition, or do you hate even that? No, yeah, I don't I don't like not fighting. anything else aside from fighting? Like, what could you see yourself doing? I don't know. All kinds of stuff. But, but like I said, it's not... Uh, I think the best thing for me is it's weird because it's like it's self-destructive fighting and it's self-destructive not fighting. So uh, kill or be killed, like uh, what I said before, it is um, can't live with it, can't live without it. I don't want to do this shit at all. But like, you know what I'm saying? Sitting back watching somebody else do it's not not comfortable for me. Like the game chose you, basically. Yeah, yeah. So. Are you surprised both guys haven't followed your method? I mean, like, you pulled out Connor, you made this crazy money, you've done it again with Jorge. Are you surprised more fighters don't live with you and think, well, that's obviously the model I should copy? Yeah, I put, put out the blueprint for money making the whole time, and these guys up here chasing a belt still, like, they want to do. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you got. I pay attention to what's going on, you know what I'm saying? And, and uh, when I was fighting every other month for so many years, or every couple months for so many years, I only, I only, uh, I only, I only focused and paid attention to how to be the best fighter in the world, you know, like train, 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 and uh, I never had a second to sit back and think about other stuff. So the second I took a year off or three years off or something, then everything started coming together, you know what I'm saying? And then my martial arts started coming together better because I, because I, uh, Recovered and I wanted to be in it, you know. So everything, everything kind of pieces itself together with time. Nate, that statement that you sent out last week, very few fighters would send out a statement like that and go public with that issue that you were having. What was the thought process? Why did you want to come out with it and kind of control the narrative the way that you did? This is warfare. For 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 one, they call me, tell me all this shit. They're telling me all this. You're on drugs, shit, and I'm like, hold up, no, I'm not on drugs. So fix your tests. You know what I'm saying? So I got, I continued taking my my supplements, which are whole food supplements. I only eat out the garden. You know what I'm saying? Vegetable only, raw life. I've I've, I've, I've trained for fights, and uh, I've went on. Uh, they don't have them anymore, but I used to eat or, organic, vegan, uh, raw raw food. It's like everything's made raw. So you're just straight living on plants. And I went when I was fighting at 55, it was helping me make the weight. And uh, when I did that, uh, my weight my weight was was like going down, right? So I was like, so I'm like all the way, and I was at my all time strongest. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I live like that, like by that by that code. Like we gotta we gotta you know strong survive type of shit. Like I don't need no 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 shit. And then when they do that, I'm like you're fucking up my whole shit. What I believe in. And it's all it's making me leave, lose sleep at night. So I'm like, you know what, this is this is uh this is war and this ain't fair. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sleeping, the UFC sleeping, Jorge Masvidal sleeping. I'm like, how about fuck all of you guys? Ain't no one sleeping. Woo woo woo, yo fights off. Now no one can sleep and I was in bed smiling. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it even things out a little bit and uh and and it's what it's what's uh, what's what's real. And now look at they they flipped their shit, got it together, and there was nothing nothing wrong in the first place. So why did you guys try to fuck with me to, to begin with? If you hadn't sent that statement out, what do you think would have happened? To you? Uh, I would have just not came. <laughs> what was that? Until they fixed it. What was their reaction like? But when you put that statement out? Yeah, were they mad at you? They called me back and they're like, "We fixing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fix it then." Nathan, your video blog, you were seen smoking something. I'm assuming it was, what was in the, what was in the video blog? When? 
Uh, earlier, I think it was this week or last week. I don't know. Something good. <laughs> I don't know. Something, something, something. No, no, no. Oh, Oscar, Oscar, wait. Good? Huh? And you mentioned that. Oh, we're tangled. Yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of fighters are are, are, are vegan too. I think I'm probably just the, the biggest stage probably talking about, but I think there's a, there's a bunch of guys out there. Uh, I can't think of who right now off top, but I know Cron, Cron Gracie, he's like me too. He's the same type of thing. And, uh, it's a, I, I think I perform well, and uh, I'm still, like I said, even about my career, I'm still here. I'm still here after however many years. I've been, been in the UFC since I was 21, and I'm 34 now, and uh, I feel stronger, better than ever, and uh, I feel like I'm only getting better and stronger. And and, and when, if you look at the tri triathlon community, too, and, and the way that they train and compete, the better guys are 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 older. They're getting older. Like you know, what I'm saying, I was 26, and the guy smoking everybody was 30, 34, 38. You know, so so with time and experience, you get better. And I feel like like uh, it's doing the same same thing here. I know how to recover. I know how to train active recovery. I know how to stay busy. I know how to stay busy. Um, I know how to stay busy even when I'm overworked, uh, and, and and come back strong. So. Uh, I think it's the best way to, to, uh, to the best thing to do is to uh, think about your whole craft and make sure that thing's working right. What did you think of Jorge Masvidal sort of showing support to you when this whole Usada situation happened? It almost seemed like he would have wanted. He knows, and everybody knows that's the, that's the funk that they, that they were talking. You know, it's, it's bullshit. So uh, I I I I expect it, and I would do the same for for anybody. I'd be like. Even if they were on steroids, I'd be like, do the steroids and let's fight anyway. Because they all been on steroids most of the time anyways. You've always kind of said this, you know, the phrase that you're all on steroids. Is there anyone or some guys that you look at and think like, you know, those guys are not on steroids? Because you said you would do the same thing for some of the guys, right? Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of guys not on steroids too, but most, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't put it past nobody, you know? I know a lot of the fucking, everybody I'm, I'm training with is on the same type of, type of thing. I'm on vegan triathlon I got we're all, we're all doing the same thing and we all we all live the same mindset like do all the do all the juice you want I'm still gonna be here when you when you're done you know what I'm saying do you think this BMF title will become the title in the division I know like Covington's fighting Usman in December but do you believe the BMF title has a lot more popularity and people want to see that defended more than the actual title in the division um yeah, the, the 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 belts and stuff ruin the fight game. The the, the weight way divisions, I believe. That you need weight divisions and the title and stuff. But it it's like uh, you know George St. Pierre a long time ago was doing that. Uh, he was a real entertaining fighter. Then he's like, I need to win and stay winning. So how do I do that? I gotta I gotta grab on. I gotta hold on. I gotta run. I gotta I gotta point. And that that's how it became the whole game. So it's like a loophole into being the best fighter in the world. You know. And it's like you're you're gonna just you're gonna loophole me out of it because I'm the best fighter in the world and I'm training the best and I'm fighting the best because I have like the most uh, of the night bonuses for like and, and like fighting the night bonuses and stuff. I know they're acknowledging that and they're like this is the best guy in the world. Khabib, I don't think Khabib ever had no fight of the night. I don't remember any of his fights except for that they all were the same fight and. Uh, so it's a loophole to being the champion. I'm like, nah, I'm talking about the best fighters in the world are the best fighters in the world. No clock, no time, fight to, fight to the finish. Uh, warriors, you know, and uh, that's the fight I called for. And that's the fight that, that I, fighter I think I am. And um, you want a good fight, you're gonna see the baddest motherfuckers fight. You're not gonna see a, 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 a some of these champions fight, and, so, and, and some of the champions, a lot of a lot of fighters. I've been saying that I said a couple times uh, that everybody's whack and stuff like that, and I don't mean to disrespect everybody. A lot of the people are 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 some whack, whack fighters out here. There's a lot of really good fighters, a lot of great fighters, and a lot of people doing a lot of really good things. But uh, I, I, you know, 
it's hard it's hard to be like think out like who's the best fighter it's like well i have to sit down and think for a while you know what i'm saying because all i can think is me and my brother and then poor him the cron's gracie cron gracie's last fight look at that guy and he's only getting better too and um besides that you know i know I, I like warrior i like warriors i like i like real fights and 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 People forget when they go to when they go to uh, fight shows. They forget that that they think they're going to see a fight like they're going to see with me and Masvidal or, or any it, like really good fight. They think they're going to go and see war. People who don't know the sport, and then they come and then they see like a, a wrestler holding down that, like the whole fight card. Everybody's wrestling or running from each other, poking each other, trying to win point decisions. And that's what people didn't really come there for. And they get there and they're like end up just drinking and talking with all their friends at an event but it's like just like when you go to a baseball game or some shit you don't watch a baseball game you just go and sit there and hang out with your friend i only been like one baseball game I'm like, I ain't. but you know what i'm saying so so but then when you get a real fight all attention's on the fight and i believe that's my fight every time every time and then I, there's fights i fought against wrestlers who've got a hold of me and held on and i'm just like standing up and i'm fighting and i'm telling them fuck you and they're, they're doing their thing and then they're getting mad and I'm and I'm throwing my hand up and like trying to get them to act and then all of a sudden the fight's over and then we got fight of the night and I go home and watch the fight and my whole fight I'm punching them in their faces and and elbowing them and telling them and antagonizing the fight and he held on to my my waist the whole fight if, if you watch what he did the whole fight he's holding on to my waist and now I look at him like man this motherfucker owes me sixty five thousand dollars because I just got a fight of the night. Cause he didn't do any part of that, and then how can you just like go on to your next fight like yeah, fight of the night like this is what I did. It's like you didn't do that. That's all me. So mate, you mentioned Khabib, and you guys have some history together. Is that a fight that you're interested in? Not interested in that fight at all. I'm done with that. He I'm just done. Is that because you feel like? I already beat him. I already beat him. I already beat him. Is there anyone else? Uh, right, right then we're gonna have to see what happens. I don't know. I'm not gonna be. I'm not. Let's see. You guys tell me. I don't know. Will you defend the title? Do you see this as a title that you can defend against the title? I think this. Is a, uh, I think that I, this is just what it is. You know what I'm saying? The fight, the, the fight in general. This is the baddest fight you could get. I think that I'm, a, I'm gonna. Every fight I have is gonna be the BMF title. Every fight. Yeah, you have 